Hello everybody, my name is Christian from SpawnCampGaming.com and this is your SCG Weekly for the week of Monday, September 21st, 2015. It has been a couple of weeks since our last episode due to scheduling issues, so here we go with the best news from the past two weeks. Last week, Tatsumi Kimishima was named the new president of Nintendo, a name many didn't know until the announcement. Kimishima has held many roles with Nintendo, starting as CFO of the Pokemon Company in 2000. He has even been the president of Nintendo of America before Reggie fils uh, eventually took that role. Along with this, Miyamoto and Takeda were given new titles, Miyamoto as Creative Fellow and Takeda as Technology Fellow. The word fellow here is used to describe them both as leaders and as guides in their respective areas of strength. Also, in Nintendo news, we learned of a new Pokemon game. However, this is neither a handheld nor a console release. The new title will be available for Android and iOS devices in 2016. It looks to be using location text similar to that found in Google Maps, as well as some form of augmented reality technology to bring the Pokemon to life. The game will have you searching the real world for the creatures and using your mobile device as sort of a window into the Pokemon world. You will be able to capture, trade, and battle uh, the Pokemon with your friends and family. Last week was also Tokyo Game Show, and that means we had quite a few releases announced, including, but not limited to, Minecraft Story Mode, coming October 13th of this year, StarCraft II Legacy of the Void, coming November 10th of this year, and Bloodborne DLC The Old Hunters, coming November 24th of this year as well. Dark Souls 3 is coming April 2016, Persona 5 is coming summer of 2016, The Witness is coming January 26th, 2016, and Ghost in the Shell Online is coming in 2016 as well. Uh, again, just to reiterate, Pokemon Go is also coming in 2016, at least according to its planned uh, release time. Uh, also, from the show, we learned of a new attack on Titan game from Koei Tecmo, the King of Fighters 14, and Resident Evil Umbrella Corps, and many others. In Sight News last week, we covered all the big stories and announcements coming out of Tokyo Game Show over on our Twitter and Facebook pages, and I posted a mini-play for the free-to-play first-person mech shooter, Hawken, as well as a couple of blogs. This week, I have plans for a couple more Let's Plays and a few blog posts. I will also uh, be testing out a new post idea. I plan to make a post just about every day on something that has happened on that day in history regarding the video game industry. Uh, today, our post was about a uh, beloved quirky ball rolling game straight from Japan. A full blog regarding that post can be found on our official website as well, and I plan to carry forth with that idea do a mini post on Facebook and Twitter, and if it happens to be a big enough deal or something that I feel like I can go into more depth on, I will make a full blog on the official website about that and have that linked to that post as well. Uh, that about wraps us up for this week, so as always, thank you all again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.